What an unbelievable first round of the East Coast Bull Buzz Australian Rally Championship. The Quick Forest Rally over here in Western Australia. One of the toughest of the series and it proved to be that way. Lots of attrition, lots of accidents and dramas up and down the field. Four wheel drive national series for one. We had accidents almost from the very first forest stage. Henry Knott had a spectacular incident. Doug Tostevin, he won the STP and Armour All Power Stage on the Friday. Was doing a fantastic job through the forest, but also he came unstuck. That is bad. That is bad. And that also saw some of the emerging talents like Dylan King, one of the locals. He had dominated, not put a foot wrong, and devastating for him. His car stopped in the middle of the street, handing heat one to Brad Markovic. As it turned out, Brad had his dramas. Mick Patton and Bernie Webb, victory in the four-wheel drive national. Outright was no different. Of course, we saw Eli Evans and Simon Evans, former champions and brothers, everybody in the rallying world looking forward to this huge battle. Simon Evans dominated on the tarmac runs every single time, including winning that STP and Armour All Power stage. As soon as we hit the forest, though, both of them hit dramas. Eli, a big impact into the bank that nearly put him out, and he struggled from then on to gain form. Oh, Jesus. Simon Evans, just little dramas after little dramas that saw him struggling through, the crew working overtime to try and make sure he could finish. That basically handed some of the event leads to people like Adrian Coppin. He went off, lost the lead. Former teammate Tony Sullins in the Citroen, he then gets handed the lead. He's thrown it over as well. The person who's gone through all of that though with no dramas, Molly Taylor and Bill Hayes did not put a foot wrong. Molly creating history in the Australian Rally Championship, becoming the first female to win a heat of the Australian Rally Championship. A fantastic job. Really happy that I can repay the support that they've shown me and Mum as well. You know, she's always been uh, telling me I can do it. I just need to believe it, so now I can uh, believe it a bit more. Could she then make and capitalise and get the event victory? Wasn't quite to be. She finished second outright because Eli Evans got the act together, allowing Team Citroen Australia their first victory in the Australian Rally Championship. He's got 1-0 on his brother. Simon, with all those dramas, did come through to finish third, but it was all red and white. The Citroen Team Australia, their first victory in the series, and a very delighted Eli Evans at the end of a tough Quid Forest Rally. First hour on our first event with Citroen. Absolutely pumped. Well, there you have it, an unbelievable opening round to our East Coast Bull Bars Australian Rally Championship. Our next stop is the National Capital Rally in Canberra. It's in May. Built into that is, of course, our Hall of Fame dinner. We have another special guest this year. It's four times World Rally Champion Yuha Kankinen. If you're a rally fan or even a motorsport fan for that fact, get on to rally.com.au and grab your tickets to that very special night. And also, we cannot wait for the National Capital Rally. It should be an absolute blast.